everyone, let us try to solve this geometry problem. Now consider a trapezoid with base angles of 80 degrees and an apex angles of 100 degrees. Now we construct congruent trapezoids and connect them to the given trapezoid. Now the question is how many of such trapezoids are needed to form a ring? Now based on the problem, we are asked to form a ring out of congruent trapezoids. And we are asked how many of such congruent trapezoids are needed in order to form a ring. If we're going to visualize the problem, this is what we are going to come up with. Although the figures here are not drawn to scale, and these are not exactly the number of trapezoids that we need, but this shows what happens if we are going to visualize what is asked in the problem. Now, as you can see, these are trapezoids here, and it's formed to f somehow like in a circular form, which is a ring. Now, as you can see, the sides of the polygon forming this ring-like figure are just the trapezoids. That means... To determine the number of trapezoids, we will simply consider them as the sides of the polygon. That means if we can determine the number of sides of the polygon that is formed out of the, those trapezoids, then we will be certainly able to find the number of trapezoids. Now, what we are given is a set of angles. And we are looking for the side of a regular polygon. Now, there are two concepts that we can probably use that establishes the relationship between the number of sides and the angles of a regular polygon. And one of them is the interior angle sum for polygons. And it states the sum of the interior angles of a polygon is n minus 2 times 180. Now, in this relationship, we need the sum and we need the number of sides. But obviously, we are not given the sum of the interior angles of the polygon form out of the trapezoids. And certainly, we're not given the n, which is the number of sides of the polygon because that is exactly what we are looking for. So definitely, we cannot use this relationship. Now, the only option that we have is we're going to use the exterior angle formula for a regular polygon, which states that the measure of an exterior angle of a polygon is 360 degrees over n. So let's use this one. Let's go back to this figure here. Now, consider this three trapezoids as a portion of the polygon that is formed when these trapezoids are formed into a ring. Now, this will be the exterior angle of the polygon. Now, as you can see, there are two interior angles already, and it forms a straight line. So, that means the angle here would be 180 minus 80 minus 80 which is 20 degrees. So now, we were able to find the exterior angle of a regular polygon. Now, we can solve for the n. So we have 20 degrees is equals to 360 degrees minus n because one of the measures of the exterior angle is 20 degrees. So we now have, again, this relationship. We just cross-multiply. Cross 20n is equal to 360n is equal to 18 so the sides of the polygon will be 18 that means again this number of sides represents the number of trapezoids therefore there are 18 trapezoids that we need and the problem is solved that's it for this video please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more challenging geometry problems. Thank you so much. Enjoy learning.